Hey you kiddos, time for the daily bread. We're gonna continue on with Titus 2 today, learning about the roles and purpose of the old women today. Daily Track 285, Titus chapter two, verse three through five. Old women, similarly, should be holy in attire, not false accusers, not given too much wine, teaching well so that they may teach prudence to the young women, love their children, be sensible, chaste, restrained, and have concern for the household. Be kind, be subordinate to their husbands, so that the word of God may not be blasphemed. Kids, wow. Okay, where to start? Well, let's just say we live in a world that has confused genders and says that men and women are equal. And here's the thing, though. God didn't make us equal. He tells us that. And, and what I mean is that God gave men and women different roles. And because of Eve's punishment for the first sin, men are given domain over their wives. And you'll find that people who will go against the roles that God gives ultimately, ultimately end up miserable. You see, God lays out these roles and purpose for men and women because he knows that's what will truly make them happy. And as you can see, there's some things that God expects older women, the same as older men. Things like not drinking too much wine. For the men, it said, don't drink wine. For women, not too much. I thought that was good. God has a sense of humor. Teaching prudence, loving her children, being chaste. Those are things that were also expected of men. But there are things that God specifically calls for older women that he doesn't for older men. For example, she's to be holy in attire, not a false accuser, sensible, restrained, and have concern for the household. You see, holy in attire means that she dresses conservatively. She's to be sensible and restrained because her husband may not always be right, but it says she is to be subordinate to him. So subordinate means that her husband is in charge of her just as God is in charge of the husband. Okay, it's a hierarchy. And while the husband provides and is the spiritual leader of the, the family, the wife is the leader of the household and children. It says she is to teach them. Now, this is very different from what the world says today. Many people will disagree with this strongly. But, but what does it say to those that disagree with it. It says they blaspheme the word of God when they don't accept these roles. Blasphemy is breaking the second commandment. That's in the Old Testament. If you blaspheme the, the Lord, it's punishable by death. They would kill you for blaspheming the Lord. So it's very serious to God. So my daughters, you're not of age yet to be considered an old woman. You have many years yet. But you must certainly study this tract over and over. When you accept these words, you will have a lasting marriage and godly children. If you choose to accept what the world offers, you'll get what the world provides, which is in many cases and unfortunately is divorce and despair. Give this great thought. God bless. I love you.